this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Minecraft Story Mode. We have survived the night, and now we're off to find the temple. This is a little bit of a, a recap from uh, the the end of the the last episode, uh, just to just to get back into the the swing of things. I could say something different, actually. Can't remember what did I say last time. I think I said uh, Axel will get over it. Uh, let's say sorry this time. Sorry about all that business last night. Honestly, I'm just I'm more embarrassed than anything else. Look at that! He did actually say something different. Who would have thought it? Hey, <laughs> there's something over that way. Ah, uh, yes, we what found the the temple. Some kind of building, I think. Let's Looks a bit destroyed, look. though, doesn't it? It doesn't look like a um. A functioning temple. Looks like a bit of a, a ruin. And yet that was it. We were about to, to climb up the, the vines and go and uh, explore. This is hopefully the, the temple of the Order of Stones. Oh look, that is, that's their symbol. See the, the stained glass? That's the symbol. Um, this has to be it. This has to be the place. Remember I was given the, the thing by Gabriel? Uh, which is supposed to help me find them. Um, that's the uh, the same symbol that's on the uh, the stained glass. It's the Temple of the Order of the Stone. Oh, I just said that. Lucas, are you sure? He's right. Look. Is there the same oh. pattern? Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. Okay. So, this is supposed to be the temple of the good guys. So we shouldn't be too worried. But oh look, there are dispensers in the walls. And there are little pressure plates here. And did I just hear a silver fish? I think I might have. Oh no no, don't go on the pressure plate, not on the pressure plate. Did you just step on that pressure plate? If you step on that pressure plate, I won't be happy with you. No, no, no. <laughs> that Ruben. That's probably not a good thing. And now we're trapped. Don't be silver fish. Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. <laughs> dispense cake, dispense food. Dispense, no, it dispenses arrows. Ow, ouchies. Right, duck, 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 duck. I don't know how much ducking's going to help, I don't know. Am I dead? I think I died. <laughs> I died again. I'm not very good at this game, am I? Right, at least I at least I know what's coming this time. I can be ready. I just get too excited. I'm just enjoying watching it. And then suddenly it wants me to do things. And I'm like, what? No, I'm not ready to do things. I was watching this. Right, so uh, let's try and remember the pattern. I think it was, was it right down left? I think I had to do it. Well, hopefully I'll just be ready to do it. I'm going to use the uh, the D-pad rather than the, the analog stick. I think it's going to make this bit a little bit easier. There we go. That's a lot better. Straight through the arrows. That was a little bit more dangerous than it could have been. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're trapped. We're not done yet. We activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. Hmm. Oh, it's a wooden table. one. Maybe we can make something useful. We could maybe throw oh, something what? at it. We don't have anything. I got string. All our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. Maybe I could I do a bow and arrow, from building the and I could fire an arrow at it. Some flint and a piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. <gasps> yes, I can make an arrow as well. Got some flint and steel. A sword. Oh, and some string from a spider that I can Yeah, I can make a bow and arrow. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. Alright, I know what I need to do here. So first things first, uh, let's go and try and make myself a uh, let's make myself a, a bow then, shall we? So if I go stick, 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 uh, and then go and grab the uh, the string and do string, string, string. I think this is how I make an arrow. I'm not going to embarrass myself here, am I? Nope. <laughs> I did make it. Oh, not an arrow. Sorry, a bow. Sorry. That's how I make a bow. And then I can make an arrow. And uh, I never normally make arrows. I normally just pick them up from skeletons. But I'm pretty sure we need the flint at the, the top for the sharp pointy bit. And then the feather at the uh, the bottom, just like this. And I now have a bow and one arrow. But only one arrow. So i got to make a, a good shot. If I hit the, the pressure plate... I should be able to stop all of the, the arrows from going, so let's hope my aim is straight and true. I don't want to get hit by any of the, the other arrows. But there we go! I did it! 
I hit it, and it worked! Woohoo! Woop, 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 woop. Right. The order of the pig's luck is changing. <laughs> now don't step on any more pressure plates, please. <laughs> Steady as you go. Oh, okay, another place. This is similar to the place that Ivor had. Room. This is where they do their enchanting. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? It does, I just said that. But thanks for repeating me. Oh, I let them off, they can't hear me. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if they did a game where you just you just speak to them, like, in the future? Like, you know, kind of like Siri, but, like, actually working. Where you could just say, like, I think you should go in there. And they're like, okay, sure thing, Stamps. <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, what's Lucas doing? I think he's I think he's studying the, the books that they have. Find anything useful? Not sure about useful, but definitely interesting. There is a lot of history in this room. Hmm, okay. I don't know if history's gonna save us. Ooh, an enchantment table. Ah, I could all- oh, I got three arrows, actually. Not just one, I got three arrows. Well, three arrows left. Do you think I could enchant my sword, maybe, or my bow? Maybe I'm gonna have to choose which one I enchant. Maybe I should just look at the book. Is that glowstone or lava behind it? I think it's glowstone. The battle was fierce, but the order of the stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five, five members, members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five heroes. They would author their own end. They would slay a dragon Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone? The stories never mentioned him. This is so crazy. This might explain why Ivor had such a grudge against Gabriel. They lied to us. They lied to the whole world. Why would they do this? This is so crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? Up, I would assume. Or possibly down. Looks like these ones go up. <laughs> uh, someplace safe, I hope they go up. <laughs> See, I'm already getting in the mind of Jesse. They go up. Right, let's go and explore. So Ivor, the beardy man, the baddie, well, the supposed baddie. This is cool. He used to be an Order of the, uh, the Stones member. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. <laughs> Is... Something supposed to happen? Give it a bang or something, maybe. Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. Okay, so I've got the uh, the amulet, and the amulet's supposed to show where they are. There's a pretty awesome-looking huge map over here. Let's go check this out. It's a map of the entire world. This is way nicer than the one at Endercon. Okay, so I don't think anything with the, the map's going to help us. Uh, Lucas has been doing good reading up about the, the history. Maybe he has some clues. Find anything interesting in that book? The only thing I've found so far is that the amulet was used to track the positions of the members of the Order. And does it mention how? It's less technical and well, more historical. My guess is I, I need to put it somewhere. There's these weird lights you see here. I reckon I'm going to put it on the pedestal or something, and then maybe these lights are going to somehow show on here, like which area of the, the world they're on. Uh, let's go check out this pedestal then. Actually, no, before we do that, let's go speak to Ruben, because I love Ruben. Hello, Ruben. How you doing? Hey, Ruben. Find any clues? <laughs> Poor Ruben, he, he's had a tough time so far. Probably more than any of us, he's had uh, <laughs> not so much fun. 
Right, let's go check out this uh, this pedestal then. I could try putting the uh, the amulet on top of it. Oh look, there's those levers behind me as well, and a redstone lamp. I look it's the same as the amulet. It's the same as the amulet. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> right, uh, let's go. Let's go look over here. I can't go any further down that way. Let's just go speak to everyone then. Let's just see if uh, Olivia has any clues. We're in the temple of the Order of the Stone. I know. The Order's actual temple. Yeah, I know. I'm here too. Who'd have thought it, huh? A bunch of small towners like us wrapped up in an adventure like this. Yeah, it's pretty insane. I just hope we all come out the other side in one piece. Well, that wasn't very helpful, was it? Now, what about Axel then? Axel, overall, hasn't proved to be particularly helpful for anything so far. So maybe here he's finally worked it out and he's going to have an ingenious idea that's going to save the day. What you looking at? Nothing. Whatever. <laughs> Axel? <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to figure out where Petra might be. I mean, I know she's gonna be fine, but I was just curious. We're gonna find her. Okay, he was just worried about his friend. Wasn't very helpful, but he's just worried. Aha, right. We can go and have a look down here. And let's see what these levers do. I don't know if I should just randomly switch them, but... What else am I gonna do? Let's switch this one. Ah! Okay, it lit some lights up. And this one put them on. Oh, so I think does only one switch go at a time? Oh no, look. They they both switches stay up. Let's switch them all up and see if anything happens. Switch the uh, the middle one as well. Okay, so nothing happened. I obviously need to work out uh, which ones need uh, to be up and which ones need to uh, to be down then. So let's uh, let's pull them all down again. Uh, and then let's try and uh, work out the the order. Do you reckon I need to get them all lit up? Maybe. Uh, let let's try and find out. So that's just the uh, the middle one. Uh, let's pull this one down. Hmm. It uh, seems like maybe I need to do it so it's the the colours of the the amulets or something. Um, I can't use the amulet anywhere here. Uh, I don't really have any other clues, so let's just try and work this out, shall we? Uh, let's just try and make it so we can get all colours lit up. So this one turns on them too. Okay, and then what does this one do? This one, okay, that turned them two off, but turned the blue one on. So if that one's up, yeah, so if this one's up, all three of them are on. So that's handy. So let's do the, the middle one, and now we just need to get the bottom two lit up. So the middle one didn't make any difference whatsoever, so we can leave that one down. And then, oh, there we go! That's got them all on apart from the bottom one, so this one should turn on the bottom one, and... Oh no, but it turned off the, the other ones, you see that? So I need to just turn on the bottom one now. Uh, is there any way I can do that? No, because that one does those top two there. How can I turn just the uh, the bottom one on? This is going to be tricky. Right, I think to turn the bottom one at, on at all, this one needs to be up. So I think the uh, the far right one has to be up no matter what. And then I just need to switch the other ones around uh, to try and work it out. So now I only need the green one lit up. So let me try this one here, the middle one. Is that going to do the, the green one? Are you actually going to switch it? There we go. Is that going to do the green one? No, that one didn't do it. So let me try um, this one here. I need those two. No, that one does the red one as well, doesn't it? Right, let's pull this one back. Because that one did all three of the, the top. And then this way, if I do this one, then that's going to do the top two on. And now I just need those, um... Oh no, now I need the top one on as well again. Uh, let's pull this one back then. And there we go, that's got all of them on, apart from the the blue one. So what happens if I do this one? Does this do the blue one? That middle one doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know. Oh look, no, because one of the other ones has just gone off now. Oh, that one does that one there. How do I get the just the blue one on then? This is pretty tricky, actually. This is a... Uh, let me start again. Let me start again from the, the very beginning. So, I know that the, the far right one has to be on, because that one seems to be the only one that turns on the, the white light, but it also turns on the, the green one. So, I now need to light the other three lights without um, turning those bottom two off. So, the middle one does just that middle light, and now I need one that does just the, the top two, and I always forget which ones they do. Okay, so that one doesn't do anything with the top two, so I can pretty much forget about that one. Uh, so, does this one do either of the top two? No, because it does... I think this one... Actually, I think I worked it out. I think all I need on is the far left one and the far right one. I think this is it. I'm pretty sure this is right. This should turn on all of those... Come on, press it, press it. This should turn on all of the top three. And there we go. I've done it. I worked it out. 
It was even easier than I thought it was. And now is this going to show? Oh, look, it's pointing to somewhere on the map. If I put this on the pedestal, the uh, the amulet on the pedestal, that light is going to shine through it and hopefully show the locations of all of the, the people. Um, let's give it a go. I do believe I've solved it. Well, let's wait to see if it works before I start patting myself on the back too hard, but <laughs> I think it's working. Incredible. I know, thank you very much. I, I know I am. It's searching How for them. It's scanning the map. Okay, now I'm impressed. This must be the, the tracking system. This looks like some sort of tracking system. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. Yeah, but well, this is our best chance. I mean... Hmm... Hmm, uh, I'm going to say nothing. I don't know what to say. I panicked. I froze. I'm just going to squint my eyes and look angry. The storm is still <laughs> out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two whites. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus. Or Eligard. Let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. She has hmm. to be. What if he's wrong, though? But what if she didn't make it? Don't say that. Axel, Jesse's right. Petra might be... gone. If there's even a small chance she's alive... I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm gonna focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're gonna have a chance at fortifying it, I'm gonna need some help. If, uh, maybe one of you guys can hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. But obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. Okay, so I've got a choice here. So I could either go and uh, try and get Magnus or Eligard. So Magnus is the person who's good at destruction, blowing things up. And Eligard is the engineer. I think Eligard is the, the way to go. I think I think she's smarter and she might be able to work out a way. And also it looks like uh, Magnus is in the desert and I'd rather go to a cool looking island. So uh, let's go and try and track down Eligard, shall we? Olivia, you and I are going to Eligard. Awesome. Axel, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra shows up. What, with that guy? I'm right here. Come on, Axel. For Petra's sake. Fine, I'll do it for Petra. I'll take it. I don't know how good of an idea this is. I know it was my idea, but guys, <laughs> we'll see. Uh oh, something's happening. Oh no! Oh no, it's coming! Right, I think we all have to leave now. I think patching up the walls isn't going to make much of a difference. Okay, I think. That was episode one. That was episode one, Order of Stones of Minecraft Story Jesse Mode. Jesse and Olivia return to the nether, intent on finding Eligard, the redstone engineer. You know what? I don't want to see this. I want to skip. I don't, I don't want to know. I don't know what I want to know what's happening next. I don't want any spoilers for the, the next episode. So I'm going to pause it here. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, the end uh, of, uh, of the first episode. So uh, there are going to be many more episodes. I think it's five, I believe. But don't uh, quote me on that. I think it's five episodes that's going to be uh, coming out. And I am going to be playing through all of them. So uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed uh, seeing my reactions and uh, my decisions to playing through this game. Uh, I'd love to hear any stories that you've had and any uh, decisions that you made and how the game was different for you uh, if you were playing through it yourself. Uh, but yeah, for now, that is the, the end of my... Minecraft story mode until episode number two.
That's it for the final time in this episode. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!